in hindsight, a lot of states got it wrong on licensing because their programs ended up with the unintended consequence of a consolidated marketplace where only a few profit. And those communities that have been hurt are on the outside looking in. To start, for those who want to get a license, we're creating a designation for social equity applicants. But remember, um, one of the reasons that uh, that we have had some challenges has been because we've been so focused on equity. Now, what I mean to say is I know that there are people who write about this, that there are other states that have opened up the number of licenses to hundreds and hundreds of licensees, uh, and they have more dispensaries open than we do. Uh, but the reality is that we've limited the number of licensees in part because we wanted to make sure that the social equity licensees had a fair shot in the industry and they weren't just edged out to the very end uh, and by you know having too many dispensaries in the market so that people can't make money, uh, entrepreneurs who open places like uh, Ivy Hall. So, uh, so I'm, I'm, you know, in, in many ways, I, I think that the what you all uh, view as a you know as a slow plotting process is also one that uh, ends up with um, you know the the right uh, um, regulation and the right laws in place and the industry growing at a pace that will allow social equity to take place within the entire cannabis industry which is one of the purposes of it